What's up everyone? So today I'm in Switzerland in these beautiful mountains in the Alps. You can see the beautiful foliage. No, I'm not in Switzerland, I'm in Brazil. A lot of people think, oh, Brazil, it's just football or samba or, or uh, caipirinhas. Yeah, of course those things are here and they're great. But did you know they have beautiful cities in the mountainside with views like this? Today I'm in a city called Campos de Jordão. Jordan's camp, if you want to translate it. And it's a beautiful city with a very European feel. You kind of feel like you're in the Swiss Alps. I've never been there, so I don't know exactly, but I imagine this is what the Swiss Alps are like. This is a place called uh, Itapeva Peak. I'm gonna show you some things, maybe change a little bit of your stereotypes you had about Brazil. Brazil is not just one monolith. There are many different things you can do in Brazil. So today we're gonna check out some beautiful things in Campos do Jordão. Let's go, galera. Right here, you can see a beautiful little field of lavender. It's really, really beautiful. Also, it smells incredible. I feel at one in the nature here. These trees are beautiful. I don't think I've ever seen exactly a tree that looks like this anywhere else. Now we're at a little cafe on top of the mountain with a great view of the city. And you have two options here. You can try a hot chocolate. Tastes like Switzerland, very good. Or you have a local IPA called Baden Baden with a special Brazilian fruit called Maracujá. This one I have to try. Cheers. Tastes like the mountains. So now we're gonna go to the center of town. It has a beautiful little medieval feel. I think you guys are gonna like it. Let's check it out. This looks like a little version of Lake Geneva. Obviously it's a lot smaller, but really it still has that little mountain feel, the little alpine feel. I like how they kind of designed all the little cottages in that same style. As you can see the little architecture right here. So we're making our way down to the central or the, the center of town, but I thought I'd show that to you before we made our way downtown. So I really had to show you this here. This really captures that kind of Swiss vibe they're going for. These beautiful little hotels. They look like little Swiss palaces right on the mountains. I'm wondering if they could make some Swiss chocolate and make those Swiss army knives and watches. I don't know. But really, look, look at this valley. Look at these mountaintops and these beautiful hotels. I'm really impressed by what I'm seeing so far. So we just arrived in the center or the downtown area. You can see it's got a lot of tree-lined streets. The same beautiful kind of Tudor Swiss architecture. A lot of nice restaurants and nice shops to buy some souvenirs. One of the most famous things to do here is eat some fondue, a little chocolate or cheese fondue. And uh, right now I'm really hungry, so I'm trying to get a little appetizer, maybe some sausage, some steak. I'll see what they have here. Let's check it out. This right here is a very famous structure in Brazil. It's the Brazilian payphone. They call it the Big Ear or the Orelhão. And nobody uses it anymore, but it's so iconic in Brazil that they haven't taken them down. It's kind of like, you know how they have in, in London, those red phone booths? That's the Brazilian structure right here. Orelhão, write it down. So I thought I'd take you around, show you some of the shops they have here. This is a great place to do some window shopping. And if you want to do some real shopping, you got to take into consideration that if you have dollars or euros, your money goes a long way down here. So let's take a look at a few. They have here some shops. You can get something for your mom, your girlfriend, or you are a girl yourself. Something for the kids. And also some great restaurants. What I like the most is just this decoration. Everything's very well done here. I kind of feel like I'm in Beauty and the Beast. So right now we're on one of the main streets where you can find a lot of good restaurants. This one is called uh, Gialma's Corner or Desquina de Gialma. Got some good 
good food. They're watching the Olympics over there. I like how they have those little fire pits. And over there, one of the most famous restaurants, also the name of the most famous beer from Conference Joe Down, Baden Baden. I'm not sure which one we're gonna try, but you'll find out in a little bit. So now we're at the restaurant Baden Baden. It's a beautiful Swiss Bavarian style restaurant here in the just two hours away from Sao Paulo, the biggest metropolis in all of Latin America. And it's really cool because this is also a brewery, so they have their own beers. They've been making beers since 1985. That's three years before I was born. And uh, I'm really excited because one of the best things they have here are some, like a plate, kind of a, a smorgasbord of different types of food. Uh, we're gonna try some sausage, some, some different types of meat. And what really makes a difference is their homemade mustard. You're gonna like it. So the local beer arrived. This is called uh, Baden Baden Wheat Beer. It's a, a wheat beer in Portuguese we say trigo. So I'm gonna teach you three different cheers. One you should know, which is cheers. The second one is German, which is Prost. And the third one in Brazil, we say saúde, which means health. A lot of health to you. Let's try this beer. Really good, a lot of different flavors. Nice body, good little, very, very beautiful, but even better tasting. Now we have this croquette. I wanted to show you uh, what's inside. It's a little ground meat and cheese, but it's really delicious. One of the best croquettes I've ever had. No joke. Now I'll show you the sausage. Oh. A little German sausage. You need a little mustard. Put a little mustard on there. A thing of beauty. A little aperitif after dinner. We're gonna have a Baden Baden coffee, which is a coffee with Amarulo. It's a little cognac liqueur, a little whipped cream on top. So I'm gonna take you on a little no. tour of the town at nighttime. It's really cold, it's two degrees Fahrenheit and Brazilians are taking pictures because it never gets this cold here. So everyone comes to this town specifically because it's actually the highest city in all of Brazil. With the high altitudes, you get colder temperatures. You can see that my breath, you can see my breath because it's that cold. I mean, for me, it's not that bad. I grew up in New York City. Those winters are really tough. So this is not too bad, but you know, for Brazilians, this is about as cold as it gets. Let's go. This is one of the coolest little alleyways in the city called Geneva Boulevard. Don't these windows remind you of Beauty and the Beast when they start sing everyone starts walking through the city and singing that song? They, they did a really good job. So one thing that we have to try on this street is some uh, fondue. There also looks like there are some good wines here. And one thing that's very famous in Brazil, I didn't know that, are churros. Little churros that you dip in some chocolate. And there's some dogs running around. This is just an exciting place. Let's go. I'm trying a Brazilian wine. This is from the Serra Gaúcha, which is a mountain range in the southernmost state called Rio Grande do Sul. Brazil is not as famous for their wines as, let's say, Argentina or Chile, but the wine industry in Brazil is really starting to grow, and various regions have their own specific wines. The sparkling wines in Brazil are world-renowned and are really gaining a good reputation, but now I'm going to try a little red wine because it's chilly out here. I have my little space heater, so let's try it out. Pretty good. Good, bone dry. It's uh, the name of the vineyard is, the name of the wine is called Don Candido, and the area is Vale dos Vinhedos. If any of you are wine connoisseurs, you could check it out. Okay. Now we're going to try a rosé. Someone's already trying it, actually. <laughs> now we're gonna try a rosé from Brazil. This is a grape called Malbec, which is very famous in Argentina, but now we're gonna try how Brazil does. 
Very good. We win. This place is so crazy, you can even find Jack Sparrow. You don't believe me? Look over there. <laughs> Jack Sparrow drinking some alcohol in the churro stand. I think Jack Sparrow is speaking Portuguese though. This place, very crazy. Very crazy. One of the most famous snacks in Brazil is called a churro. They call it churro. It's basically a churro. It is a churro with a little dolce de leche. It's really good. Oh my God, it's, it's a little messy though. Really good. Jack likes it. Marinheiro e capitão. Capitão. Eu não sou marinheiro, eu sou capitão. Now we're in this famous place. This is called a pastel. The most famous Brazilian fast food. Named after a famous Brazilian mayor. I'm not gonna explain it right now, but let's just try the pastel. My God, it's so good. I hope you liked that little tour of Campos to Jordão. And I hope this video maybe changed some preconceived notions you have about Brazil. Brazil is a huge place, a diverse place with many different climates and cultures. And I really hope you get the chance to experience them all. Have a good one. Peace.